So what would you guys say if I told you there's a new planet that's been discovered in our solar system? It's been talked about for years and it's referred to as Planet X. But now they've discovered even more information and they're saying it's a Neptune-sized planet. And it's lurking behind Pluto. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Court McGinley. Welcome to our new viewers, our older viewers. We love you all. Thanks for watching. So now let's get into some news. In yesterday's video, I asked you guys, if you won the Powerball, what would you do with your earnings? And this is what you guys had to say. Today I want to know if you were able to name this new planet, what would you call it and why? Let me know down below. Thousands of years ago, we discovered six planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Then years later, we discovered Uranus and Neptune. Yesterday was discovered after years of research that our solar system might have a ninth new planet. Two scientists announced that there is evidence that a planet near the size of Neptune orbits the Sun every 15,000 years, but it has yet to be seen. During the solar system's infancy over 4.5 billion years ago, they concluded that the giant planet was knocked out of the planet forming region. Slowed down by gas, the planet settled into a distant elliptical orbit, where it still remains today. There have been claims for centuries that Planet X is out there. However, this new evidence comes from a pair of respected planetary scientists, and they're from Caltech. Their names are Con Constantine Badigan and Mike Brown. And outside scientists say that their calculations appear to be correct. And they're expressing excitement yet caution about these new results. So a little while back the two got together and they started to share their research. And for the next year the duo secretly got together and discussed the patterns and what they meant. The two proposed that Planet X form much closer to the Sun than anticipated. It's hard to explain why Planet X didn't either loop back around to where it started or leave the solar system entirely. There are still some final calculations and questions that need to be answered and that means Planet X is going to remain in limbo until it's actually found. Now astronomers, they do have some good ideas on where to look for this planet, but spotting the new planet, it's not going to be easy. Because objects in highly elliptical orbits move fastest when they are closest to the sun, Planet X spends very little time at 200 AU. And if it were right now, Brown says, it would be so bright that astronomers probably would have spotted it already. Next, Star Wars is opening up an entire new fan base. Now that one of their main characters is being used as inspiration for a new type of body armor. Boba Fett, who is the famous Star Wars bounty hunter is being used as inspiration for an intriguing new range of body armor. This character is inspiring a new collaboration called Galactac. Some of you may have looked into this, it's currently trending on Facebook. The designers involved in the collab are AR500 Armor, Heckler, and Koch, among others to replicate Boba Fett's armor and helmet ensemble. The ensemble is going to be debuting for the public this week in the SHOT Show in Las Vegas. While the price has not yet been finalized, one of the project designers sells a similar body armor for $325 and but whenever something looks like a super cool Star Wars character, you can bet the prices are going to be jacked up. Next, everyone seems to be going absolutely crazy for this new Suicide Squad movie trailer. People are either loving it or they're hating it. I'm going to leave a link for the trailer in the description box down below. So this trailer, it does have a lot. We have bad guys, we have explosions, and we have comedy. This trailer promises and delivers the worst heroes ever. So basically from what we can tell is that the characters are called into service by a government agent for a mission that is too dangerous that it will likely end up killing them. However, upon completing this mission, their criminal records will be wiped clean. Our next story. Thousands of people have signed a petition to stop Kanye West from singing David Bowie's songs. Apparently earlier this week it was reported that Kanye was getting to work in his studio to put his own spin on classic hits like Charges, Heroes, and Rebel Rebel. And Bowie fans, they were not only unhappy about it, but they were outraged. A petition was being passed around to stop Kanye from recording a tribute album. They received almost 5,000 signatures at the time of this recording, after only being out there for for a day. A source says that some of the straightforward cover versions with Kanye actually singing, on others he is rapping his own lyrics over Bowie's music. Kanye has responded to this petition and says that he has no plans on recording a cover album. Kanye has a lot of respect for Bowie and after his death he tweeted, David Bowie was one of the most important inspirations, so fearless, so creative, he gave his music for a lifetime. Next I have a story for you guys about a funny feline and it's driving the internet crazy. Here we have a picture of an ordinary kitchen, but hidden somewhere in this picture is a cat and it's driving the internet crazy trying to find this little guy. Pause on this picture and let me know if you guys can see Pedro the cat. If you can, comment below with his whereabouts. But Pedro, he's just so good at hiding you might not be able to spot him. If you guys do give up, the picture of his location is in the article which I'm going to be leaving in the description box. So from a story about one animal to another, I have this story for you guys about the world's saddest zoo. There are many stories out there about how animals who live in zoos are getting mistreated, but I don't think I've ever heard of a zoo mistreating their animals this much. Lions, bears, 
bears and guinea pigs are on display. And they're showing all the signs that they're slowly going crazy by being locked up. These animals are being placed in cages on a whim by an Armenian billionaire to parade around for his friends at jungle themed parties. But their owner just vanished one day and left them to die. They now survive on scraps fed to them by an elderly couple who are trying to help keep them alive. The civic authorities refuse to take any responsibility for them. An animal welfare group called International Animal Rescue are trying to raise awareness for the zoo's condition in the hope that the action will be taken by authorities in Armenia. But the group is not raising funds themselves. Hopefully soon these animals will be rescued and cared for correctly. Next, I have some pretty shocking news for all of you SpongeBob SquarePants fans out there. The unsocial and monotone Squidward Tentacles was busted for a DUI. Well, at least the actor who voices him was. Roger Bumpass was arrested on Friday for a DUI. Police noticed a blue PT Cruiser stopped in the middle of the street just before 11 p.m. with a man leaning against the car. When cops approached, he began to walk away stumbling. Sources say Roger admitted to driving just before the cops stopped him, and he was arrested for being unable to pass the sobriety test. His blood level was more than twice that of the legal limit. Now, drinking and driving it is a very serious thing, but I can't imagine how these officers would have responded once they approached Roger and began to talk to him. I mean, I would probably just think he's more intoxicated by trying to sound like a cartoon character. But anyway, guys, that's all the news stories I have for you guys today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! So make sure you guys like, subscribe for more news stories from around the globe. We got more videos right over here. Tell your friends, tell your family. And you guys can follow me on Instagram at Court McGinley. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.